Very good morning to all. I welcome you to all to the first day of two days online yoga workshop organized by the Aditya Birla Public School Bhubaneswar. Yoga is a mind and body practice. Various styles of yoga combine physical postures, breathing techniques and meditation or relaxation. Yoga is an ancient practice that originated in India. It involves movement, meditation and breathing techniques to promote mental and physical well-being. Once uh, this lighting up of lamp is done, we will all stand straight, folding our hands and closing our eyes and we will pray Sangat Chardhan. Please everyone, stand straight, fold your hand and close your eyes and repeat after Sir. Om Sankachvadham Sambhadvadham Sambhobanase Janatam Deva Bhagam Yathapurve Sajjanana Upashate. May you move in harmony, speak in one voice, let your minds be in agreement, just as the ancient gods shared their portion of sacrifice. First, we will do warm up with neck practices. Both neurological and energy systems branch of out in a big way between the shoulder blades and above. So keeping the neck region in a good condition is very important. Within three or four minutes of doing these neck practices, you will distinctly see that you are much more alert and the lethargy in your body will be obliterated. There is a higher level of neuro neuronal regeneration memory and intellectual sharpness will also increase. All of you stand straight, breathe normally, keep gap between two legs of 8 to 10 inch. Close your eyes, slowly move your neck backward, slowly inhale, slowly move your neck forward and try to touch your chin on your chest, slowly exhale, repeat this process 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe normally, slowly turn right your neck to the extreme point that you can turn. Slowly turn left your neck to the extreme point you can turn. Repeat this process 10 times. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, 
सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन एज यू एक्सेल स्लोली एंड जेंटली ब्रिंग योर राइट ईयर टूवर्ड्स योर राइट शोल्डर to the extreme point you can go same as left as you inhale bring it up repeat this process 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. In today's session, we will do three. standing pose and three sitting pose so first we will start with standing positions or standing poses so first asana is tadasana that is mountain pose to do this first you stand straight keep some distance between feet hands should be hanging alongside your body now while deep inhaling raise your both the arms upwards slowly and interlock your fingers raise your heels and stand on your toes Feel the stretch in your body from feet to fingers of arms. Hold this position and your breath for ten seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Now, while exhaling, release your pose to come to the starting position. Repeat this cycle for ten times. the benefit of tadasana are uh, it helps in correcting your in correcting your posture and improves your balance by making your spine more agile it helps in increasing the flexibility of your ankles thighs and joints tadasana strengthens your nervous system and regulates your respiratory and digestive functions the steady and concentrated posture of the pose can really help calm the mind next we have vrikshasana that is tree pose all of you stand straight and be on alert position that is sawasana standing tall and straight with arms by the side of the body focus on a point in the front now exhale move the right leg up and place the foot on the inner side of the left thigh the heel should be touching the perineum inhale extend the arms up and join your palms together in namaskar mudra maintain the final position of 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 release the right leg and bring it to the starting position 
repeat on the other side that is left leg with the right leg off the ground exhale move the left leg up and place the foot on the inner side of the right thigh some benefits of brikshasana are it strengthens the legs and opens the hips it improves your neuromuscular coordination it helps with balance and endurance it improves alertness and concentration next we have trikonasana that is triangular pose stand up and keep a minimum distance of 3 feet between your legs extend both your arms sideways and keep them level with the shoulders while inhaling slowly raise the left arm and bend the body towards the right with the right arm pointing downwards with fingers pointed at your toes your eyes should face the ceiling and most importantly be open for keeping optimum body balance make sure to inhale deeply and relax the body on exhalation during the final position stay in the position for a minimum of 1 minute repeat the asana for the other side as well the benefits of trikonasana are this helps in stretching your muscles limbs and arms as the name suggest tri means three kon means angle as the body is pointing forward three different directions thus suffices the authentic triangle pose the asana tones the ligaments and improves flexibility helps in losing fat from the side of the body next we have three sitting postures three sitting pos uh, poses first we will start with ustrasana we will start with vajrasana please follow how sir is doing first all of you sit in vajrasana stand on the knees keep the knees and feet together lean in the backward direction push the hips in the forward direction then bend the head and the spine as backward and as farther as possible without straining relax the body and muscles of the back maintain this for 10 seconds some of the benefits of ustrasana are reduces fat on thighs opens up the hips stretching deep hip flexors stretches and strengthens the shoulders and back expands the abdominal region improving digestion and elimination improves posture relieves lower back pain next we will move to mundukasana everyone sit in vajrasana pose now make fists where thumbs should be inside put the fists at the navel region inhale deeply exhale bend forward and put maximum pressure on the navel area while bending forward look ahead with open eyes just like a frog 
maintain the pose for 10 seconds 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 inhale and exhale slowing while maintaining the pose come to vajrasana with a deep inhale perform it 3 to 5 times Benefits of Mundukasana are it gives you relief from diabetes, digestive disorders and constipation. This pose improves the flexibility and mobility of the knee and ankle joints. It helps tone muscles of the shoulder and abdomen. Regular practice of this pose increases your lung capacity. Next, we will move to our last asana of today's session that is Sasankasana, Rabbit Pose. Take the Vajrasana Pose first, keep the knees on the ground and together and rest your body on your heels. While inhaling, raise both arms with palms facing forward. Start exhaling and at the same time bend your pelvis and trunk in a forward direction till your arms touch the ground. Maintain this for 10 seconds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Slowly up and go back to your first pose that is Vajrasana. Benefits of Sasankasana are stretching and strengthening of the arms, shoulders and upper back, ankle and knee strengthening, posture correction through treatment of the dropping shoulders symptoms and relief from diabetes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly up. All right. So we have come to the end of today's session. Now we will all stand straight. Uh, with folded hands and closing our eyes and we will pray Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Vashantu Sarve Hadrani Pashantu Makashi Dukha Bhavet Makashi Dukha Bhavet Thank you all.